Welcome to another classic retro game room video and in this video we're going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 5 um, sort of a follow up to, to my first play videos but actually um, capturing the footage properly using the computer um, because last night I put around uh, 10 hours worth of gameplay into the game well last night I put about 8 hours in but in the day I put about 2 and um, man I've seen some shit so um, without further ado we're going to uh, hit record and start the game up uh, this cake this cake this game uh, really does let you have your cake and eat it um, just the, the stuff you get to see and do early on in the game it just blows your mind it's absolutely awesome if you haven't picked up this game yet then uh, go out and pick it up now unless you don't have anything to play it on but then you should go out and buy it and then save up for something to play it on just like but behold it and worship it drinking some coffee to uh, perk me up um, last night I was I played from about half ten till quarter past six in the morning uh, what I did was I went round to my parents house because they're on holiday uh, so that I could play the game with sound on as loud as I really wanted it to be and uh, I ordered Takeaway. I had uh, a doner kebab, chicken tikka kebab, and some spicy curly fries. <coughs> Pardon me, that's probably repeating on me now. To get me through the night. So we're loading up here. As you can expect, the game's got to load. But um, after this, there's just minimal loading once you're actually into the game. Now. I've seen some shit so far, um, I've flown planes, I have seen dogs, well my own, well my mate's dog in the game, um, not my real life mate, the dude in the game, his dog having sex with another dog, I've ridden a jet ski, and then I've done all the usual Grand Theft Auto shit, just in a really more refined way. So, let's hit start so we can get the map up. Um, getting the map up is one of the only times where there's really like a little brief loading thing going on. Um, do, do, do. So, just scanning around for some objectives and. I don't think there's really much to do, so we'll, we'll switch characters now, and you'll see that happen. Zoom out like a satellite image. As you can imagine, you do hear the PS3 basically working uh, overtime, accessing the disc to play this game, and here we're into a nice little Trevor moment of him. Chucking somebody off a bridge. And the make out that you just kind of intercept people doing shit in their daily life, but let's face it, that's sort of scripted. Um, you'll never join a character having, for example, literally just thrown the guy off and you just stood at a bridge, like, why am I stood at a bridge? You know, like, as you can see, they actually threw someone off the bridge, so. Scripted in that sense, but still uh, <coughs> pretty cool. Let's see what objectives we've got for Trevor. Have we got any? Uh, objectives like previous Grand Theft Auto games are displayed on the map with um, kind of like the initials of the, the person. Uh, who 
is providing the gel. I can't actually read any text messages by any, any of the text pretty much, unfortunately. Um, when I'm capturing. But yeah, so we'll make our way down to the, the gel. Hopefully it is one that's accessible by Trevor. Not really sure why it was highlighted in red on the map. It's actually... Um, as I've done with previous GTA videos. I'm going to turn the audio, the music off. Um, partly because of copyright issues, I've had copyright issues already with GTA 5 videos, but also because it kind of distracts me and it, you know it's hard to multitask, it's hard to talk, play the game and have music blasting down your ear at the same time. Oh yeah, actually I'll go down that way. As you can imagine, in the uh, richer areas of the map, the, uh, the cars are a lot better. You get a lot more sports cars, and all that sort of stuff. In the ghetto, you get the you know pimped out, well ghetto -y areas. So you get like the pimped out. Um, old school American cars and some like kind of middle class, not middle class, more average areas. I don't know what you call them. Um, I'm gonna go off the fucking train track. Fucking right off end. So there we go. Um, yeah, you, you just tend to get a selection of drab cars, but. The good thing is that, you know, the whole map's apparently open to you from the start of the game and you are basically dropped into the uh, richer part of the map so you get nice sports cars, you get all your, your Audi rip-offs, your Porsche rip-offs, all of them sort of cars, so nice uh, selection of cars to get you into the game. Uh, I'm just talking shit, I'm basically smashing into everything. The highest missions, I've completed one so far. The actual highest, um, I didn't think was that great, the planning and all that stuff, it was wasn't really what I was expecting but then the actual getaway from the um, the highest ones I'd stolen the jewellery because it was a, a jewellery shop it was uh, pretty epic so now here we're going to steal a submarine um, so I'm not really sure how this is going to go down not even sure where the, uh, the submarine's up there so I'm going to Try and get onto the ship, I guess. No doubt there will be some military fucking assholes on here or something. So yes, this is um, basically one of the kind of preparation missions um, for the heist. We've got to steal a submarine so we can then uh, go and steal. How the fuck am I supposed to control that tra crane? So we can go and steal some military hardware from underneath the water. You got to go. Um, you really gotta go. Really nice uh, combat in this game. It's really satisfying, just knocking people out. And you can tell the difference between um, some characters. Um, Some characters do have better hand hand to hand combat it seems for me. Um, there are stats for each character which actually can be improved. Uh, you know, say for instance stamina you can improve that by swimming, running, cycling, 
all of that sort of stuff. So here we're getting into the submarine. So that's another thing to um, add to the list of things that I've done. Check. Fly it. We've got that submarine we talked oh, about. Nice. You gotta help so. me store it for a few days. Yeah, this game just looks awesome. It's, it's unbelievable. Don't just, quiet on me or I'll come around and, you know, yeah, the, well, the amount of detail and... Okay, what's this? Awesome. It really is. Look, uh, Looks like the oh, the the shit there. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a oh, dishonest day's work. I thought that was still like an underwater bridge or something. We're not hurting the hell. Anyone. No, but no one except whoever the old radio chatter that you get with GTA games. Some do some oh, research traveling. on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial so much detail as well with everything. Um, yeah, it's just detail, I think. Kind of really, did they need to put that much detail in? Um, for instance, you can hear Trevor. There's kind of like a, an echoey, I don't even know what you call it, sound to his voice because he's in a submarine. Um, I was flying a plane over the water and when you got close to the water you could see that you know it was causing spray in the water and they're just things that you know really think does that add to the gameplay but it just <coughs> blows your mind that it just puts so much detail into the game I mean look at these waves these are, are the best water effects I've ever seen in a game, hands down, I think. I was playing uh, Street Racers, it was the old Street Racers, and before you've sort of felt that everything was tacked on in uh, GTA, uh, you know, like, oh, we can. Oh shit, crowd near grounded it then. Yeah, like, oh, we can just add, like, racing fucking cars, but this time around, you can actually slipstream the other cars, um, which I think is a really cool feature. It just adds that extra sort of depth and makes it feel like a, a game within its own rights, rather than just being tacked on, you know, something that you can create with checkpoints and cars. I'm kind of struggling to find this uh, location. Where am I? Um, it's on there. I'll zoom in. Um, so I'm going to put a marker on there and see if it gives me any sort of direction. Where is it? I've got to go there. Doubt it will on the water. I'll poo. Um, trying to get my bearings. Where am I supposed to go? Right. Uh, try and zoom in. Right, so I need to. Actually, I need to turn around and then go left. So it would be nice to have some um, a bit of guidance on the water. Uh, so now I'm going completely in the wrong direction. And fucking get back up. Fuck's sake. Alright. Basically, you need to basically need to go around this kind of rocky bit here. I think if 
fuck's sake. The controls are decent in this game, it is just me um, kind of trying to multitask and failing. They've got the simple main. Right. So. Not grounding you, bitch. No, fuck's sake. I'm fucking really losing my bearings here and it's winding me up. Right, so is turn right, left even, and then there should be a huge bit to go down here. And once again, I'll check on the freaking map. And no, I need to turn freaking left, go down there. Check again on the map, is that correct? And now we're heading in the right freaking direction, so um, yes, a uh, small gripe in the game, I guess, that um, it should have kind of GPS for retards to follow within the water. Yeah, look at the jet ski, baby, ragging it around. For a bit, see what there is under here. Not really much. Bottom of a boat, I guess. Barge. Uh, some kind of underwater platform. Probably for lifting boats out of the water. And we're uh, coming to our destination. Yay! Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. <sighs> it's all in the planning is going to pick me up. Yeah, there we go. It's really, another thing that's really awesome about this game is just like seamless um, moving from cutscene into gameplay and the cutscenes uh, you know, it just shows off the graphics because they look like pre-rendered sometimes, well most of the time and it just shows you how great the, uh, the game engine is and the animation is just awesome. Voice acting is great. All right, I'm here. And so we've basically just done a mission that was not really traditional GTA because there's no, um, there's been no submarines in GTA games until now. But. Uh, now we're into traditional sure GTA no, 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 sir. territory of uh, trying to get something to its uh, destination. If you turn a crew the old classic onto a slow score, moving truck. You gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't wanna cut, just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. It's funny because no some of the characters are just hilarious. There's quite a few um, kind of retards in it. Like this guy that's talking now, he's kind of like a really. Um, oh, fuck's sake. The trailer's gone, man. He's basically a, a retard with like a nervous disposition. Ah. You park that fucking car there. These do get a bit fiddly, these um, kind of attachments and unattachments of things. There's actually tow truck uh, missions in the game um, where you're helping out some fucking crack addict who's uh, got a job as uh, kind of, a, I guess, a repossession guy. Um, 
and you have to go around, you know, sure hooking you your um, sure. hooking your truck up to uh, cars that need I'll moving and whatever. And uh, yeah, it can get a bit annoying when you've got to reverse and oh, there's just all sorts of manoeuvres. Why can't, why aren't it getting this fucking truck? Yeah. Is he going to drive off in that? A little fucking wanker! Bastard. Just fucking leave me there then. And it gives you a summary of the mission result. So we'll make our way onto the road. Try and find a vehicle. Oh look, truck. I'll have that. That's nice. So that's a bit of me old Trevor. And we'll switch over to Michael. He's probably just driving around in his fake Audi. Usually is. He's usually just stuck in traffic. In the garden. Isn't You're it? not an FIB agent. You don't get to know where I am all day. Jesus. Just leave us all alone, Michael. Please. This house is quite funny. Um, you can go into the living room and watch some TV. There's actually a funny mission where you rig um, basically this like iPhone parody kind of actual phone uh, and you, then you basically go home and watch the press release live on TV and uh, like kind of set the bomb off that you've rigged onto the phone and uh, it explodes you can smoke here, I've not done this before Not sure what purpose kind of serves. Probably none, but uh, kind of adds to the atmosphere. Sounds like you can hear someone getting fucked in the background. Um, one thing I've been trying to do is take a snap of the daughter, she's a complete slut. And I just want to take a picture of her tits, but she's never at home. Well, the past couple of times I've been home, she's not been there. Um, fat sons might be in. There's my bedroom. I think he's watching porn in there. Yeah. Ah, uh, the slag isn't in again. Fucking disappointment. Um, so, is there anyone in the kitchen? Ooh. Unfortunately, you can't hit people and things like that. In uh, here, what's up with her? She's not been fucked in the ass enough. Uh, so we'll pick up the camera. Six more of these, and I'll be comatose enough to sleep. Oh, with so you. she's uh, oh, she's getting pissed. <laughs> Funny. Uh, try a garden, you never know, she could be, uh... Sign me up to social club there, so I'm gonna discard that photo, it's not... It's not exactly my daughter's titties! So, um... Now we're outside and we can... Control the character as normal. He's got his garage here that I put a, uh... 
Porsche in here, a fake Porsche. Uh, something or other, Comet Sports. Can't really read the uh, name from here, the text. Uh, so, 